Hey guys, so are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node placement in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. This is a timeless reading, so it's whenever you come across this reading is where it's most likely to resonate for you and not necessarily just when I post the video. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, please don't be overly concerned by that as there may still be messages in here for you. This is a general reading, so with the messages, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. And please use your own sense of discernment with these messages and not force them to fit with a particular situation. So we're going to get into the reading, guys. This is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So angels of love and light, can we please have clear and concise messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node placements? What do they need to know? In regards to the current energies for the next seven days, please and thank you. What do they need to know, please and thank you. Two more shuffles and then we'll cut up the deck and get straight into your reading. So thank you for your patience. Okay. Let's find out what's going on for you guys. Okay, that wanted to show through. So we have the five of wands. And the Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles wanting to show through. So Earth sign energy may be significant, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have Air sign energy with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like there's this um, a bit of uh, kind of anticipation or tension over something. Okay, could be surrounding your career, could be surrounding money maybe even uh, paperwork, potentially legal documents, or there's um, something that's coming in relatively suddenly. Um, a certain date is arriving uh, very quickly here for something to happen. And there's a lot of anxiety about this. But I feel that ultimately, this could um, relate to maybe some sort of payout, okay? Some of you may be feeling like you're not going to be receiving of a certain payout, but I feel like actually you're going to be gifted. Um, I'm hearing with a win, okay, with a win of sorts. Three, three, three on my timer as I say that. So obviously, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. Um, I feel like you've dealt with a scenario where there have been many um, disagreements, um, people kind of trying to put across their point of view maybe on a certain story here and there's been um not very much clarity on a situation but i feel clarity is coming to light there's certain truths that are going to be soon revealed to you okay or you could be revealing or speaking of your truth and that's what potentially could be getting you to feel a certain type of way but i feel that as long as you stay you know organized i'm hearing and you're kind of following through what you need to do and take things step by step and not kind of um, be too in your head about things. Just take each day as it comes. I feel like actually you're going to be able to deal with the scenario a lot better than you think and feel that you will. OK, I'm getting like a competitive nature over this as well. OK, so there could have been a lot of bickering a lot of people wanting to reach a particular outcome, but I feel that something is going to go more favorably in your favor, okay? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles wanting to show through again with the Hierophant. Now, this could be to do with some sort of authority position here. Maybe someone who is a boss or someone who sees themselves a bit um, high and mighty, okay? trying to have the sense of control around over others here, um, repress others, restrict them in some sort of way. I'm hearing what I say goes, okay? So there could have been maybe a potential feminine energy in your life. It doesn't have to be somebody who's a family member or friend. It could be somebody that you work with or you worked alongside with um, here yeah and look with the three of swords there's been a heartbreaking situation there's been tears there's been upset but i feel that someone who you may have felt like you couldn't necessarily deal with 
I feel like a, res a situation is getting resolved here, okay? And I feel like something is definitely working out in your favor. Taurus energy may be significant, especially with that Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant, okay? Yeah, we have the Cancer card with the Chariot, overcoming whatever obstacles that may lay in front of you at this time. I feel like you have been feeling a bit battle-weary, but you're kind of... I'm hearing trudging on through here, okay? Yeah, Seven of Swords. You may have been dealing with a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety about having some sort of movement forward. But everything will kind of balance out and calm down eventually here. Look, as I say that with the Two of Cups and the Star, Aquarius energy, there's going to be a wish fulfillment or a miracle, it will seem like, that's taking place over a scenario where I feel like you may have dealt with um, some very kind of sneaky energy around you and there have been lies that have been put out there and someone's tried to get away with certain lies I'm getting someone like trying to bulldoze their way through a situation okay you know um, to make something go their way I don't feel like this is necessarily you I don't feel like you're having this impulsive or reckless energy i feel like you are actually um coming from a very pure place here but there's definitely a character or a certain energy or multiple energies around you people here who have may have um tried to block your path here or prevent this movement forward in your life in some way but look with the knight of cups you're moving on forward anyway regardless okay yeah some of you may have had difficulty with a lack of finances here. Um, you've had a lot of unnecessary stress to deal with. You have felt trapped in a situation. You've just been wanting peace and something to resolve, okay, and put it in the past. You've been kind of over a situation here with that Four of Cups. But what I'm getting, that predominantly, um, I'm hearing the past will soon be, soon be behind you in regards to this, whatever this seems to be for you. But... I feel that ultimately you may be viewing things from another perspective here. You could actually be dealing with someone who's going to be assisting you on some level as well. Yeah, as I say that with judgment, there's your energy Sagittarius coming through and the seven of wands. So yeah, I feel like you actually do have a lot of support around you who are kind of backing you and fighting um, for the sense of peace for you. Okay yeah you're going to be able to move on to calmer waters and close out a very challenging cycle in your life and the sun will come out again i'm hearing the sun um the sun will come out tomorrow okay so i don't feel like it's necessarily tomorrow that something may be changing up i mean that's just like a figure of speech here but with the magician uh, gemini virgo scorpio and the sun card what is manifesting for you is closing of something that's made you feel a certain type of way about yourself okay yeah, you have definitely felt stuck here with the hang one. We're currently in Pisces season. This is the Pisces card. Um, I'm hearing not much longer now, okay? And then you're going to be feeling like you're set free from the scenario. I feel like the universe is overwatching, like everything as of right now, and there are certain things that are not necessarily clear to you, okay? Um, that could be for a reason, but they're getting clear to you now the timing may not necessarily have been right before with that ace of swords so i feel also that whatever is done in the dark is going to come to light anyway and anyone that has been doing of anything in the dark that they on some level know that they shouldn't have been doing okay maybe spreading some sort of gossip or um doing things that are underhanded here they're going to be brought i'm hearing to justice and I feel like there's going to be a karmic kind of rebalancing of, you know, a past scenario here that has made you feel some type of way. And you may have felt like you're never going to break free from it or release it, but you will. And I feel that there's something here to do with a lump sum of money with that Queen of Pentacles. I'm also picking up on that you're this individual that has this hard work ethic here and you've always done everything right by the book, okay? And hearing you wouldn't hurt a fly, 
with that Knight of Cups, you're not somebody that goes out of your way to do of anything to cause distress to others. Okay, I feel like you come from a very pure, wholesome, maybe even innocent place here. And there have been individuals around you that have taken advantage of this, okay, maybe on some level. Um, a sense of naivety on, on some aspects, but I don't feel like that's the case anymore. But I feel like that could have been something previously. Yeah, the Knight could kick. Wow, I was getting told the Knight of Pentacles, but the Queen of Pentacles wanted to come through with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like with me wanting to say Knight of Pentacles, um, that's to do with communication. So I feel like you could be communicating with someone at this time that's actually helping you assist, um, assisting you in through a process, a transitional process. And look, we have the moon, another card indicating Pisces. And I do believe yesterday on the 10th of March, we had the Pisces new moon and the eight of cups. So I feel like there's something that you're um, moving away from, okay, emotionally. And this has been, you know, um, getting you down. But with this, Ace of Pentacles again coming through. This is, you know, your physical reality. Your material world is changing up for you, but changing for the better, I'm hearing. Okay. What's this about? Yeah, actively waiting on something to change up here with the Seven of Pentacles because you have been dealing with a lot of anxiety about just putting something behind you and quickly moving on forward. But unfortunately, it's a sense of having to go through the process. Um, this is something that can't be rushed here. But somebody just wants to, you know, kind of have it all behind them. OK, it's like they don't want to see. They don't want to see any more about what's going on around them here with the two of swords, because I feel that it's caused a lot of um, kind of pain for someone. Yeah, but with the strength card, someone is getting this courage and this confidence to persevere anyway with this page of swords. And maybe um, I'm really getting like going through some sort of paperwork or maybe some sort of legal process here with the Queen of Wands. There's your energy, Sagittarius. OK, fire sign energy. Yeah, you can get through this. Um, whatever you've got going on in your life or you will be having um in your life coming up or something that you're closing off a process this has definitely been character building for you okay as i say that and sticking up for yourself here with the seven of wands i'm also picking up on um this overall energy to do with maturity as well i feel like you have definitely grown through whatever you've just um gone through here but it's not been easy yeah as i say that with the five of pentacles you you have really had a difficult time you know, you may have lost a lot through enduring of something or you may have been fearful that you would lose of something if you were to go through a process and it doesn't work out in your favour. But I feel like you're getting good news here with that page of wands. OK, you're getting good news with the hermit, Virgo energy and the five of wands. You've managed to keep your cool here. You managed to hold your nerve with whatever it is that you've got going on around you. And because of that. I feel like there's a stronger foundation that's been set in place for you, okay? And you are getting a help, um, help and assistance. And you will be able to walk away or leave behind whatever isn't serving you anymore, okay? I do pick up on this as more in regards to something to do with your career, um, a legal situation, your finances. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles. Could be something to do with um, a job um per se with the star and the king of wands there's your energy coming through i feel like you're very um talented at whatever it is that you do in regards to your career or your work um but you've it's like you've had something hanging over your head for a long time and you've not had that sense of peace and you may have been worried about, I'm hearing your reputation or how people perceive you, okay? Yeah, look at that with the devil, Capricorn energy. I feel like this is the type of energy that you've been dealing with, okay? Um, I don't think this is you at all. But there's somebody around you or many energies around you that have wanted you to feel like you were never going to um, have something to, to be able to let go of or let go from in your life. Um, 
there's been a lot of fears that have come to surface that could be quite triggering at this time that you're having to address. Yeah, I'm getting something to do with maybe um, toxicity or abuse in a workplace. Two of Swords. I'm getting some sort of manipulation or control here. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups. Yeah, you've been on this path for a little while and you've been very unsure of what the outcome is going to be. But look, with the Four of Wands, there will be celebrations, rec recognition and reward at the end of it. But it's kind of like... Um, I'm seeing somebody walk through a jungle with one of those kind of big uh, swords, like a machete or what have you, cutting down all the, you know, all the trees to be able to make a path. You may have felt like you just don't know what is ahead of you, maybe a little bit fearful of the unknown and you're having to trust and have faith that everything will kind of work out for you in the end, the sense of blind faith. And I feel that ultimately it will do. Yeah, look at that. With that sword, that big knife, you know, with that knight of swords charging through, trying to cut down um, all of this over here so that clarity can be brought and um, certain facts can be made straight for some reason. OK, yeah, look at that with the ten of pentacles. This is definitely something to do with money. Um, or if you were to go through of this process and complete it. And I'm hearing stick to your guns, okay? Like stick to um, trusting of yourself that everything will be all right. This Eight of Pentacles that we saw earlier may even be um, enough money potentially for you to um, have some sort of big change in your um, home environment even, or enough money to be able to put down a deposit for somewhere to live or maybe um, move out of somewhere or potentially, um, you know, get yourself up on the property ladder um, for some of you. Yeah, this is a this is a big dream of yours with the nine of cups. But you've had to with the five of swords. And the page of cups and the queen of swords. And the ten of wands, yeah, you've had to endure a lot here. I'm also picking up on um, I'm also picking up on the fact that there could be someone around you who is kind of like overseeing everything that you're going through and they know that you've kind of um, you've tried to walk away from a situation because it's been too overwhelming for you emotionally but somebody is trying to um, like reason with you and say, look, if you can just carry on and stick it out, um, it will all be over soon and everything is going to be OK. So it's like you're putting your trust and faith in someone a lot here to give you that sense of reassurance that, OK, not much longer now. Everything will be all right. Look at that with the two of cups. If somebody really does care about you and look, there will be some sort of unexpected income here. OK. Or if it's not necessarily unexpected income, it may be a lot more than you may have kind of potentially expected here. This could be a good friend or somebody that you have potentially worked with or someone who is like a kind of like a parental figure in your life in some way. Who's just kind of been like um, a great support to you as I often say that with the six of cups yeah this this person could mean a lot to you you've known them a long time okay with the justice look I feel that everything is working out for you guys it really is okay with the justice card and the three of wands um your ships are coming in okay so Gemini Libra Aquarius Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy may be significant what else, what other messages can we get here, please? And thank you for this reading. Obviously, this is general. Only please take me full resonates and leave the rest, guys. What else? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles coming through again. Gosh. Having that sense of 
um, support, reassurance. There's definitely money coming in for you. Okay, four of swords, you're feeling a bit restless because it's taken a lot out of you to be able to get to this particular outcome. But look at that with the six of wands. You will be, got, you, you will be coming out on top here, okay? You will be coming out on top here with the death card, Scorpio energy. You're going to have a major transformation in regards to your career or whatever it is that you've been going on. It's going to come to an end and you can kind of, you know, get ready to embrace uh, new energies in your life here. As I say that breaking up the deck, we have judgment again, which is your card here, Sagittarius. So I, I really do feel that, you know, things are kind of working out. Look at that. We have the King of Pentacles, Eight of Cups and Judgment with the Four of Cups. Yeah, what what I'm getting, guys, is that you may have never felt like you've been in a position where you've had of anything that's really your own here, okay? Your own sense of financial independence. And I feel like whatever you're going through, that you're being guided to kind of stick to, as it were, this is going to kind of be your meal ticket because things are going to work out for you. Because I feel like you've done everything properly. You've done everything right here. Look at that with the four of cups and the high priestess. You may feel on some level that because you can't see of certain things being revealed to you right now that it's not going to work out because you may have not had very much physical evidence of something turning around for you but it is here with the nine of pentacles look you will have that sense of independence that sense of security okay there's that good news that's coming for you with that page of wands Yeah, I'm getting told to put these back. This does sound like a bit of a specific message, guys, but I'm getting it for a reason. Yeah, look at that. Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. We have potentially divine feminine energy coming through as well as, you know, I'm reading energy rather than gender or sex, but this is somebody who's in the energy of receiving. So I feel like you're going to be receiving, you know, what it is that you've been wanting. Look at that with the world. I feel like you'll soon have the world in your hands or the world is your oyster here and there will be movement forward after a completion of something that will actually be um, very successful here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I'm hearing that song, A Whole New World, like from Aladdin. A whole new world is coming for you. A change up in your world. Yeah, look at that with the eight of wands, the winds of change. There's a lot of excitement around, okay? A lot of peace. I just heard job for life, okay? So some of you may have been, been a little bit... Um, insecure about your work about your job here look at that with the nine of swords that if something doesn't work out in your favor that people won't want to like hire you or that um people will change their mind about keeping you on with a particular job but i feel like you won't have to worry you i'm hearing you've got it as long as you want it for as long as you want it Because I feel like the work that you actually do, you are of service and you assist others. Could be something health related here. Um, and many people kind of really love the work that you do. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're like an expert in a field of sorts. Like you have... The sense of like specialist skills and talents and gifts. Yes, look at that. Justice just flew out. Justice working out in your favor. Okay. But 
you have def definitely been kind of um, feeling a little bit unsure whether to keep doing something, but I don't feel like you have to worry. If you can just brave it out, everything will kind of come. I'm hearing come out peachy the other side, okay? Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like with whatever it is that you're going to be completing here or going through, you're going to have a lot more new opportunities coming in for you, as I say that with the star. I'm hearing that you're meant to be doing more. You're meant for more here, okay? With the Five of Swords, there may be certain people around you that have always known that you were meant to be like a pretty big deal here, but they've tried to stop you on your in your tracks in some way. But that's not going to happen. You're still going to have this movement forward regardless. Yeah, look at that with the world. Okay, and the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. I feel like... I feel like more and more people are going to be hearing about something that you're going through. They're going to really relate to you. And this may um, open doors to potentially new clients here or new um, people to network with for other opportunities where you may have to travel. Um, yeah, with the five of wands, maybe people fighting for your attention here with that five of wands. I'm even picking up on something maybe um, sport related, health related. Nine of Swords. Somebody is really worried about you, or, or many people have been very worried about you. Yeah. Somebody has felt, or many people have felt a little bit heartbroken here because they know the pain that you're experiencing with this uh, chariot, that you've been taking on a lot more than you, you would do, you, you, wow, if I can talk, you would do usually. And this has really kind of got you down. For somebody I feel is very proud of you and that you're very worthy and deserving of receiving this positive outcome or these positive outcomes that are coming into fruition relatively soon. Somebody feels and sees you as this fighter. You know, you may have literally felt like you've been kind of knocked down, but then you always got back up again. Yeah, there's your energy, temperance, Sagittarius, as I say that. So everything is going to work out, guys. Just try to stay, you know, patient here. Be kind, be compassionate with yourself here. With the lovers, you have a lot. I'm hearing of, like, you know, universal guidance, support, um, protection here as whatever you're going through. And that everything will be okay. I just feel like this message is just to reassure you that everything's going to be okay. And that you don't have to stress as much. Look at that with the um, with the star. Okay? You know, miracles can happen. Miracles happen every day. Okay, guys? Look at that with the Ace of Swords. I'm hearing don't worry. Don't worry. It may feel a bit turbulent wherever you're going through, as I say that with the Tower and the Two of Pentacles. But just know that you'll come out on top. Look at that, celebrating here with the Three of Cups. After a period of time of really struggling here, there will be a lot of loved ones, family members, friends, people that really do genuinely care about you, who are going to stand with you in a sense of solidarity. And you will be getting a very favorable outcome with whatever this is. Okay. Yeah. Again, breaking up the deck. There's your card with judgment and the king of swords. I am getting something legal here or something to do with career. 
Um, I just got told to say that you, if you're dealing with uh, any lawyers or like solicitors or anything like that, um, they really do care about you as well. They want to see you win, okay? But also, they're helping you with um, going through some major paperwork, or they will be. These people are very much um, switched on, okay? Whoever, if you're going against anyone in particular or like a group of people here, um, just know that I'm hearing your team have got it under control. And they want you to kind of feel rest assured that even though there are trials and tribulations and, you know, it can feel pretty scary, maybe even frightening with whatever you're going through. Um, and it has been going on for such a long time. I'm hearing not to panic. It's uncomfortable. Or it will be uncomfortable. But the pain I'm hearing is only temporary, okay? And then you'll be able to close a massive chapter of your life and I'm hearing begin anew, begin again. Yeah. Wow, guys. 888-777-333-999-1111-111. Um, maybe even 1010. And 777, I believe I said that already, or 717 could be potentially significant. But Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Leo, maybe very significant um, placements potentially in your birth chart, or maybe someone that you're dealing with that's close to you. Um, this was quite a specific reading, guys, but um, I feel like this is definitely someone's message. But please only obviously take me for resonates and leave the rest. But um, that's going to be the reading for you today. But I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed reading for you. And if you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. If you wish to financially donate, there's a link in the description box below for PayPal for the channel. And the other option is Super Thanks, which is listed underneath of this video. So thank you very much. For those of you who've already done this, I greatly appreciate you guys. Even if you don't financially donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I love reading the comments, so, and that, so thank you for that. And also, it allows me to kind of tap in a little bit more with your energy and to bring uh, more kind of messages to the forefront for you guys to deliver. So thank you for that. Um, but please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you so you don't miss out on any future content or updates to do with the channel. And uh, thank you to my members. If you wish to be a member, there's a link in the description box below with all the information that you need. So thank you to you guys. But um, yeah, again, thank you very much for being here. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. And please feel free to check out your other Zodiac sign readings to receive more messages for the current energies for your next seven days by looking at your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, and North Node placements in your birth chart. But sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care and speak soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.